Oh, hi, friends. Welcome to Building the Alpha Dory. I'm Dan, and this is a project to build a racing dory in the style of William Chamberlain of Marblehead. We're building from the plans included in John Gardner's The Dory Book. Illustrations by Sam Manning. Today we're hoping to finish up a riveting the number two plank on the starboard side. So, uh, yeah, let's get out into the shop and get going. This, uh, <clears throat> I already marked this section of the, uh, section of the boat for the, uh, Proper spacing for the rivets. on each rivet 
and try to uh, cinch down the plank as much as you can on its way, uh, you know, try and apply pressure to each, to the plank at each rivet, and then that's what creates a watertight plank lap. So take your time on forming the rivet heads and just
see these are uh, a nice rounded rivet heads here. And <clears throat> just take your time <clears throat> forming each rivet head, and uh, you know it'll clench up the laps without any problem. <clears throat> Now as we get into the gain, the plank is uh, going to become even thinner, and then we'll have to start nipping the ends off the rivets again. So we're pretty close to that point. the nippers down here. It's been uh, raining today, so it's a little bit uh, humid out. Not terribly warm, but uh, just the humidity.
so now we're really into that game. The uh, nails are coming through a lot further, which means what we'll have to do is start cutting more of them off. You can only form so much of the so much of the rivet head before it starts cracking the copper. of an alpha dory and so yeah this is pretty much how you do it just one rivet at a time you know if you think like oh I gotta put in 800 rivets or whatever it seems a bit daunting but if you put in one rivet and then another rivet and then another rivet all of a sudden you've built a boat and you can sail it around and use it to travel around the estuary. <coughs> Copper can. I've got a uh, can of copper cuttings that I, I'm kind of saving in order to eventually sell to a scrap dealer one day. At least that's what my sort of eventual goal would be. The big part about saving them is they don't get into the boat and get in between the planks or whatever and start digging it up. Looks like I got another, uh, oh gosh, five or six rivets to go in here, and then we'll be right down to the transom. I'd mentioned before if you uh, if you pre-drill these holes the plank can actually move as as you take it up it'll 
migrate one way or the other depending on where the slack in the plank is and your holes will eventually get off center from one plank to the other if there's space between them when you're drilling especially. So that's why I'm, you see me drilling these individually. <clears throat> There's one for the copper can. Getting right down to it now. Copper cam. You may have noticed that the uh, <clears throat> the peen on my hammer and the other side actually is fairly shiny. Um, try and uh, take the oxidization or any sort of rust or whatever that was on that off before I start riveting because uh, you know anything that's on there you get black marks on. The, wood and if it's uh, you know if it's real dirty then it's gonna look unsightly when you're done riveting and you still I think it's some of the dark marks are actually copper that comes off on the ball peen and then goes on to the wood on the next uh, hit but uh, It definitely reduces that if you keep the hammer as clean as possible. Alright, well, 
last three nails. One for the copper can. See, I've done the same with the end of the of the uh, backing block. Try and make it as non-marking as possible. Not as big a deal um, on the outside of the boat because you know we're going to paint the boat. So, but uh, you know, just. plank Oops, copper can there's a plank a number two plank fully riveted onto the alpha dory Yeah, so there it is. Now we got to do the other side. Then we can put another plank on and do it all over again. Yeah, I know it's coming along well. I'm really uh, pleased, loving the shape of this plank. The taper in the ends, it's just so sweet. So graceful. Uh, anyway, like I say, let's get uh, get to doing the other side, and then we can put another plank on. Mm. And it looks as though dinner is coming along nicely. Ways to go yet. Another uh, hour and a half on the smoker. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, got some chicken legs there. Thanks so much for stopping by building the Alpha Dory, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys next video. Have a good day.